Hi, uh, this is Keith LeBlanc here. Um, I'm uh, in my little motor home here. Uh, my wife is doing the shopping. Thank God for that. A <laughs> uh, little bored. So I figured I'd uh, give you a little drummer story. Uh, for those who don't know me, I uh, spent a lot of time at Sugar Hill Records playing, uh, backing up the Sugar Hill Gang, live gigs, um, myself and Doug Wimbish and Skip McDonald. And uh, around uh, 2013, we were trying to do some things with the gang, you know, bring them back. Uh, Hank had, had uh, it was before Hank had died, but he, he wasn't involved, it was just uh, Master G and uh, Wonder Mike. And they had a manager. So I got a call from uh, Doug. He said uh, they wanted uh, me and him to go down to his club in New York. They were doing a benefit for uh, Glenn Campbell. He was quite sick at the time. And the gang was gonna perform Rapper's Delight at it. So I said, sure, you know, and I went down there. Doug and I drove down, and I think it might have been the cutting room or the Knitting Factory, one of those clubs in New York. And uh, there's a lot of press there, a lot of people. And I walked in, you know, to check the drums on the stage, and uh, I see Anton Fig. Now, I met him a few times. And see, so, you know, I went up and said, hey, how you doing? And uh, he looked at me and said, what the fuck are you doing here? Well, I was kind of taken back a little bit by that. But, you know, I didn't let it bother me. You know, I said, well, you know, I'm here to do Rapper's Delight with the gang. And he kind of went, oh, and walked away. And so, uh, about ten minutes later, the gang's manager comes up to me and they... He uh, says, listen, the gang's all upset. Anton Fig's all upset that he's not playing Rapper's Delight. He expected to be playing Rapper's Delight. And uh, he's really uh, all upset. And the, the gang doesn't want to get him upset. So I said, well, uh, don't worry, I'll take care of it. So uh, I uh, thought about it for a minute. And... Uh, I said, oh, I know what to do. So I, I went up to Anton. And I said, hey, Anton, I really need you to do me a favor tonight. And he goes, well, what's that? And I said, well, Rapper's Delight has kind of a complicated cowbell part. And no one ever gets it right. So I want to play cowbell tonight. And would you do me the favor of playing drums on Rapper's Delight? And he goes, oh, sure. You, you sure you don't want to play Rapper's Delight? And I said, no, no, no. Cowbell part is very important. So he said, okay. And um, so I, you know, I'm warming up with my drumsticks backstage. And Aaron Neville was playing keyboards, and we had met a few times. You know, he, we, he, I knew him from doing gig shows in London, and uh, he would look over every once in a while and smile at me, saw me warming up, you know, and Anton was checking me, and so Rapper's Delight is introduced, the gang hits the stage, I got the cowbell, and uh, Aaron's, Neville's looking at me like, what's going on? You know, he's, he wants, he's pointing to the drums and me. And, uh, you know, so Anton gets on the drums, and uh, so we played the song, but Anton was just throwing in every drum fill that he knew. Um, there was hardly any groove. thought he was going to have a heart attack. Um, but, uh, oh, I've got to go. My wife's coming back with the groceries. Bye.